Well, good morning everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here and welcome to the channel. Today I am going to show you a simple, cheap mod that every truck owner should do. Every truck owner, no matter what options you have or not, it could save you thousands. And what it is, it is a simple theft deterrent for the tailgate on your truck. Now I say it's a theft deterrent because nothing is foolproof. If they want it, they're going to get it. But this is going to throw up a huge roadblock and they're going to move on to the next one. What it is, let me go ahead and open the tailgate up here, is a simple hose clamp, you guys can see here, um, that you put over the area where you pull the tailgate out. Now, these tailgates are pretty darn simple to remove. All you have to do is disengage this cable on both sides, and to do that, you just tilt the truck up, push this cable out, and it comes right out of the hole right there. Pretty easy on that side and that side. And then all you need to do is angle the truck up, or the tailgate rather, like so, because it fits right through this notch here, which is the way it's designed, and the tailgate will pull right off. You pull that out, pull it off the other side, the pin over here, and you are gone. And you can imagine, it would take all of about, I don't know what, 10 seconds to do that. So it doesn't take a lot of time to steal these. It's like leaving money sitting in the back of your truck. These things are worth somewhere between, depending on what truck you have and the options and all that stuff, $1,305,000. So you can imagine, there is a huge aftermarket out there for stolen tailgates. I mean, by the time you buy a new one, paint it, go through the hassle of having it put on, this is well worth the effort and the money. Now, one other thing I'll mention, a lot of the new trucks today have the camera built into the back of the tailgate, right? So you have this camera here. Now, that's worth uh, a few pennies itself, and because of that, you also have wiring down here. Now... I would imagine that if someone is going to steal your tailgate, they're not going to take the time to gently remove that wiring. They're just going to rip that right out of the truck because they're in a hurry, obviously, and it'd be pretty easy to do, right? So not only do you have to deal with the tailgate theft, you now saw also have damaged wiring there to screw with. Or if you're lucky, maybe they'll just cut it cleanly and you'll be able to have it spliced for the new one. I don't know. So anyway, let me get you guys set up. I'm going to show you how easy this is. I've actually already done it with the uh, Tundra out here. Uh, my Tundra does not have the uh, automatic locking tailgate. So if I want to lock the tailgate, I have to run around and put the key in to lock it every time. Now, I will say the Tacoma behind me here does have the automatic locking feature, but if you forget to do it, you're just as vulnerable as anybody else. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, here's all you need. Screwdriver, flathead, where you could use a ratchet if you want, but this is just as easy. And, like I said, a hose clamp. So, we're going to take this out of the package here. And I'll leave a link down below. If you guys want to pick this up, I'll make it easy for you. Um, I'll even leave a link for a screwdriver if you don't have one. Just go out there, click the link. It's on Amazon. They'll send it right to your door. You can pick this up. So, point you guys down here. Zoom you in a little bit, maybe. This is pretty complicated, so you know, you want to pay close attention right here. <laughs> I'm kidding. So first of all, obviously, you have to open up the, uh, the hose clamp. That's pretty simple to do. Just unscrew it. The one end will pop out. Like so. And then just feed it down around the uh, tailgate latch area. And then feed the end of the clamp back in. And then tighten it down. actually takes you longer to screw it in than it does to do the whole thing. Make sure I get it where I want it here. Now, some people will angle the screw head of this up more this way to make it more difficult to get off. Let's be honest, most thieves that are going to do this 
aren't going to be carrying around a whole tool chest with them. They want to get in and out. So the reason this is a deterrent is because it makes it a heck of a lot more difficult. You can't just walk up, open the gate, and run away. You got to get out your tools. You got to take the clamp off. I don't, I don't think most criminals are going to spend the time uh, doing something like that. Again, let's make sure we get it where we want it. I want it over the uh, area where the tailgate pulls out. And you don't have to kill this. I would just snug it down so it's uh, decently tight. Again, you don't have to kill this to, to, for it to be effective. I just tighten it so it's, you know, you couldn't like slide it off with your hand, but you don't have to kill it. There, I think that should be about it. Let's go ahead and give it a test. Make sure that uh, the tailgate still functions properly. And it does, as you can see right there. Tailgate shuts, no issue. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a view from the top so that you can see nothing is in the way and nothing is hitting anything there. All right, we've got it installed there. You guys can get a good view of it. This one doesn't even rotate, so it's gonna stay fixed right where you have it. And then if you go to shut the truck, you can see right here, nothing in the way. I know I'm gonna kinda of have you upside down probably. But I wanted to show you the whole motion. That's it. I don't know if you can see it from the inside. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm actually going to hop up in the bed there and I'll see if I can show you from the inside. Alright, we're up here in the top right now. I just wanted to show you guys that it doesn't hit or get in the way. You can see it right down there. Right there as we close the truck. Not in the way at all. So, it, uh, it doesn't hit anything. It's not going to damage anything. It's not going to scratch anything. Let me go ahead and show you guys uh, how it looks on the Tundra. Take a walk back here, and I do have mine locked right now. So you gotta do that. And let's go ahead and take a look. Right over here on the Tundra as well. Again, what an awesome, awesome mod. Okay, that's it. Pretty darn simple, like I said. If it takes you more than a minute, um, you probably have the wrong clamp or the wrong spot. I don't know. Pretty easy, uh, pretty easy mod to do. And I must say, of all the mods that I've done ever, this is probably the most important um, in the fact that it's going to save me potentially a lot of money down the road and the hassle factor of having to deal with it. So I would highly recommend this. If you have a truck, no matter what, no matter whether you have a an auto lock on it or whatever it certainly is worth doing because the one time that you might forget to lock that truck might be the one time that you come out and get to see this along with a bunch of wires dangling from where your tailgate used to be anyway just wanted to get on here show you guys this i think it's pretty important pretty simple to do again there's a link down below I'll make it easy for you. If, uh, if you want these parts, just click the link. You can buy them there over on Amazon. Pretty simple. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, like, and, sh and, uh, and share. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day. Bye.